Hi everyone, it's Juliana and I'm here to share with you guys this altar cigar box that I did for my secret squirrel sister for the month of March and the theme um, for the month of March is to use like craft paper or to use black, white um, or an accent color and uh, the accent color that my secret sister wanted was yellow which is definitely not my favorite color and so i definitely struggle with the bo with this box but i definitely like how it turned out and that's what i love about the secret squirrel group that we always have a challenge and we have to kind of step out of our comfort zone and create other things with other colors and themes and this box is for my secret squirrel sister so it's not for me so i wanted it to be very special and I want it to be really good for her so this is how it turned out so let me go ahead and share with you guys what I did now um, a lot of the embellishments that I use in this box are from Carla's S001 Etsy store and I will have all of the links below of the products that I use from her store so you guys can check it out but um, let's see this is one of those altar wood cigar boxes from Michael and the color that she wanted, which she already had received this box already, is she wanted um, the box to be gray with black and yellow. Thankfully, she likes light yellow, so thank goodness for that because I don't know how I would do something with bright yellow. <laughs> But um, this is the box here and there is a lot of details in this box so let me just go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so this is the front of the box and as you could see here, I did use a lot of details into the box. So first what I did is I painted the box in white, I crackled it and then I added this gray uh, paint over it. So that's the crackle effect that it gave and I really love how um, the whole crackle effect turned out and I also added some texture into the box as well and I did this throughout the whole entire box except that just some of the areas you probably won't see it because it's, it's cover. But that's what I did for the whole front of the box and then on the sides I painted it um, gray and white and then I also added some a little bit of gesso just to kind of give it a little bit more of a shabby cheek um, texture now she loves shabby cheek but you know we had to stick with the challenge and it was to use this type of color combination so um, I just kind of distressed the edges with white um, ink along the sides and then I added this very pretty trim here from my stash it you can't, can't see it but it's like a really nice soft yellow so it's a really pretty ruffle trim that um, kind of goes around it and is a very rough um, vintage type of trim so it's really pretty so it just kind of goes all the way around the box along the side and that's for the side now as for the top here um, to see where to start I used one of these Michaels picture frames um, in silver and I just kind of added the ink in black around the tips I used this beautiful bling here and this is the Rina bling um, from Carla's Etsy store and I totally love it and I thought it would good, would good look and I thought it looked good um, around the frame here. And then this is a piece of paper from the Prima Printery paper. And I used that paper in this box. I totally love it. And I thought it was really great colors for the color combination that she wanted. So I stamped the word love here with the stamp in black. And um, just kind of inserted the paper, you know, behind the, the picture frame in there. Now here on the back, I use a lot of white burlap, so I just kind of cut this out, and this is also from Carla's Etsy. She sells a bunch of different burlap colors, so it's really beautiful. And then I added this little pearl trim here on the top as well. And then this is just a little flower that I cut out from my trim from my stash. It's like a really nice soft yellow, almost like a cream color, it's really pretty. And then I cut out some leaves using the printery paper. And then I also embellished some of my wood hearts, which I totally love how this turned out. And I just 
um, stamped um, this like script stamp onto it and then I added a little tiny bow so there's a lot of different details in the box um, I made this flower using this beautiful also trim from Carla's Etsy it's really super gorgeous so I just kind of created a flower with it and then in the middle I added one of those um, vintage brooches that I had found and it's really beautiful it's like a really nice gray color and I thought that it would go really well with the whole color combination um, so then here I just added a little flower that I had also like very soft yellow I added this little Prima little embellishments here and on this side I added more black burlap, more leaves and then this um, beautiful like light yellow polka dot trim that I had. Now I don't have much of like yellow colors so I really had to work with what I had and um, this is one of those shabby cheek flowers that um, you can get and this one was like a light um, yellow too almost like a buttercup color so that's what that's a type of color that she had asked for and that she wanted so um, thanks goodness because I really like this color here <laughs> um, and then I added one of those heart uh, buttons that I also altered totally love how that looks and then added some of the leaf trim here and the burlap and more of the polka dots with the rena uh, bling here on the center so that's what that corner looks like and um, over here I just made a little bow using some um, seam binding added a pearl and then just a little uh, like a half of a flower in there in two that um, just kind of hitting in there so that's this part of the box and then over here on the top I cut out a doily um, using a spellbinders die and this is also the printery paper and then I added one of my cute little buttons here as well and more port lap trim and then um, this beautiful like type of flower trim I had here and I just added it seam binding bow with the pearl so that's what the front of the box looks like and I hope that she likes it. Again, I did struggle with this box. You know, it's not the colors I kind of used um, all the time. But I really enjoyed the challenge and I think it turned out um, pretty good. And it's kind of like shabby cheek and kind of like Parisian elegant style. I don't know, it has like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so... That's the box, and then on the inside, I left it pretty simple. So I left the inside pretty simple here. I just added some paper um, on the on the bottom here, and I just painted the box white on the inside. And then over here on the top, I added um, the printery paper on the top as well. And since this paper has a lot going on, I just left it empty like that, and I'm ready to put her goodies inside the box and I hope that she likes it so this is another look of the box here and I will have some pictures that you guys could see at the end of the clip as well so that's it you guys so let me know what you think I hope that she likes it and thank you so so much to Jade for letting us participate in the secret squirrel box and I'm having so much fun so thank you so much everybody for watching and please be sure to check out Carla S. 001 thank you everyone